Hello there. Larry David hit upon a gold mine with Seinfeld, and with his second show, he created another ingenious concept. Using a basic story outline and then improvising the dialogue around that, Kirby Enthusiasm is basically an exploration of the things we want to say to stupid people, but is stopped by our inner censors. Playing an exaggerated version of himself, the series revolves around Larry David's day-to-day -day dealings with other people and their social conventions, and basically how he confronts them. The crazy thing is, it's hard not to agree with Larry in these situations. Whether it's people taste testing every flavor and holding up the line, or people wanting to stop and chat when you really don't feel like it. David is basically saying what we've always wanted to vent about, but don't due to societal norms. You really sense the exasperation from Larry David, and when things blow up in his face, it's hard not to be sympathetic towards him. Unlike George Costanza, who was inspired by Larry David, a lot of the problems that befall him are not deserved. However, it's not just Larry who is entertaining, as he surrounds himself with an eccentric bunch of fun characters. Watching him and Richard Lewis argue one another, it's a wonder these two are friends, although on the other side of the spectrum, him and his manager, Jeff, are made for each other. Then there's his wife, now ex-wife, Cheryl, who continually puts up with Larry's neurosis until she finally left him. However, some of the funniest confrontations occur between Larry and Jeff's wife, Susie. These are two angry individuals, and when these two are in a room together, the profanities and hilarity just fly. Throughout the show, we also encounter many celebrities playing comical variations of themselves, and it's pretty fun to see them able to make themselves out to be very flawed and insecure people. Ben Stiller portrays himself as a tantrum-throwing child, Ricky Gervais gives himself the biggest ego on the planet, and Jason Alexander plays a womanizer who puts his own needs in front of others. One particularly funny storyline involving a celebrity really willing to take a joke is Michael J. Fox, guest starring in an episode where Larry thinks he's using his Parkinson's as an excuse for being loud in his apartment. And the brilliance of how it plays out is let completely ambiguous as to whether Fox's denials are lies or not. One particularly clever element of the show is how almost every season has its own running story arc that tackles a different part of Larry's post-Seinfeld career. One season has Larry opening a restaurant, in another Larry puts together a Seinfeld reunion special, and half of the most recent season has Larry taking a trip to New York in order to avoid somebody. The Seinfeld reunion arc is a fun one, as we get to see the old sets again, and it's enjoyable to hear how a Seinfeld script might sound like if the series was on the air today. My personal favorite story arc involves Larry getting cast as Max Bielestock in a production of The Producers. The idea of Larry trying to act in a play is handled in a very funny way, and fans of the original Mel Brooks movie will especially get a kick out of how the season concludes. And seeing Larry perform a big production number is especially a hoot. He knocks King of Broadway out of the park. In conclusion, it's a series that I actually think short clips don't do it quite enough justice. Curb Enthusiasm is incredibly funny and an interesting commentary on the little ticks that lead our day-to-day -day lives. And due to HBO's scheduling being rather unorthodox, Larry David has the freedom to only do a new season when he feels like it, thus resulting in a stronger product in my opinion. See you next time.